So in the series of learning C programming, we are discussing functions in C. We have discussed some previous year gate question paper in the previous videos on functions, right? And till now we have discussed functions. See, when we were passing argument in function, what we have passed? Either uh, int variable or float variable or a single character variable. That's it, right? As an argument. But what if if you want to pass pass a complete array as an argument, string as an argument, pointer as an argument to the function? So these concepts are left. So in this video, we will discuss one concept that is how to pass a complete array as an argument in function. That we will discuss in this video with a proper program, right? And why we pass a complete array? What is the need of uh, need to pass an array as an argument, right? With a proper program, we will discuss here. Then I will show you practical also. We will run that program and see what output you will get, right? And all the important points about this thing, like you know, what is the process? What is the mechanism behind? behind the scene what is happening when you pass an array that also we will discuss one by one all the things about this concept we will discuss in this video right but before that I just want to tell you one thing if you want if you want to have a great career in software development then you must think about the aspects like what's trending in the industry the questions being asked in the interviews how to improve your courtship ranking what is the thought process behind the great application like Zometo, Ola, Flipkart so here an academy brings you a platform where you can watch weekly shows which you can watch live and the host of these shows are working in some of the top companies like LinkedIn, uh, Amazon, Google and are seven star coders on CodeChef and industry experts having years of experience. So they will be covering the content which would be really helpful for your career like in the live episodes you can get an opportunity to ask tech HRs about the top 20 uh, questions being asked and the you know industry leaders about the recruitment process in top startups and MNCs what is the eligibility criteria and how to apply for them and you can also get your resume reviewed by the experts not only this you can also participate into mock interviews and also learn uh, courses on programming languages uh, blockchain and crypto, uh, tech aspects of digital marketing, data analytics and here is a more show in which Ajay will be unlocking one's potential for web development right on from the introduction to building one's career in web development. The show would also cover HR tips and tricks during web development interviews, the pros and cons of a career in web development and what are some upskilling opportunities one should be taking up throughout their career. So the detail of the show and the batch you will find in the link that I will put in the description box of this video. And don't forget to use my code JKL10 to get 10% 10 10 extra discount on your paid subscription. So now let's discuss this, how to pass an array as an argument. I hope you are clear with how to pass a single uh, variable, either it's float or uh, integer or uh, character. How to, suppose let's take one, uh, one uh, no, uh, example, suppose function is fun and I want to pass only one variable of integer type. So you can simply, in declaration you can simply write down the data type, in calling you can write down name of the function and here you can pass suppose a variable x or you can pass as int value also, both are fine, right. You can take here in int x is equal to 5 or you can pass x in main, uh, so uh, right, uh, it's, that is fine. And in function definition, just you have to write int fun and here to receive this you will write data type and name of the variable, I hope this is clear to you. Right? But now how to pass array, but why we pass array? See suppose uh, in my class I have 60 students and I want to you know create a function to calculate average of marks of 60 students. So I want to pass marks of 60 students in that function, a function is like average and I want to pass what? Marks of 60 students. So one method is what? Either you can pass what 60 variables individual variable is containing marks of one student that is also one way but obviously that is not a good flex we are not going to going to pass a 60 values or 60 variables here so rather than this what to store marks of 60 students you know, same type of data to store same type of data what we use array right so rather than passing 60 variables or 60 values we can simply pass an array like suppose i i am taking int marks and sizes 60 here we have 60 uh, no, uh, marks of 60 students so you can simply pass this array rather than just passing 60 variables or 60 values that is a good idea right so when you want to pass a list of values to a function then we use array right or this is also useful when you uh, you know you want to pass uh, pass a string in function right 
that is one great application of passing array as an argument that we'll discuss in the next video how to pass a string as an argument like a complete name that is character array only the string is nothing but a character array your name is like jayanti khatri that is what character array or you can say string so how to pass that thing for that we need to pass array as an argument that is one great application of you know passing array so i hope this is clear why we pass array as an argument now how you will pass array as an argument what you will write here right that we will discuss here with the complete program so let me just write down this program first of all we will declare this uh, function i want to calculate what average of 60 i uh, will not take 60 uh, student marks i will take only 5 values i will take a simple example right so here i am taking suppose i am declaring that function int and function name is average return type is int so i want that it should return something right and in declaration what we can do int that's it why i am writing this let me just show you that thing the declaration of this average function and here as an argument what i'm accept i'm no expecting it would pass array this is what for array so here no need to write down the name of that uh, variable whatever you pass so here no need to write down the name of the array only you have to tell that this is should be of integer type and this would be array so that is why we are writing these subscript right this is simple declaration and in main in main what you will do i am taking what an array int marks right and i am taking marks of 5 students only i am not taking 60 students so these are marks of 50 students i am taking int you can take float also it's up to you right now i want to pass these this array so how you will call this function avg name of the function and here what you will pass only the name of this array marks that's it that's it right name of the array nothing else you have to do here right now suppose in the definition what you will do i want that this this should return the average right so it will return some average so here i want to start that i want to you know store that value average in some variable right so i'm taking that variable name is average so before using it you have to declare it a v e r a g you can take it float obviously average would be in float that's up to you i'm just taking int but it should be float right so it will we are going to accept here the average and just print print f average is percentage d and simply print what average right now what is the definition how you will define data type name of the function and here what this array it will pass so here what you will write data type int name of the array you can take same name also suppose i am taking marks same name or you can take a b c any different name also right so here that's it no need to specify the size here this you have to write as an argument when you will pass array as an argument then in definition this would be the case in declaration only write the uh, sorry in function calling only pass the name of the array and this is what the declaration right now here have to calculate first of all sum we will do sum and then sum divide by total number of students right so here see we don't know how many students are there means we don't know the size of this array so that also if you want to pass then how you will pass the size of the array see here simply you can write down here suppose you know the size is 5 so simply you can pass 5 or if you don't know you can calculate the size of the array right have to calculate the size that we will discuss when we do practical of this program right here i am writing only 5 right when we write down the code on my laptop then we will calculate the size and we will pass that size we will take that size in you know a variable name size and then we will pass that variable name here right so now here two argument we are going to pass so here also what in declaration also what you will do one more this is what was 
obviously a simple variable you need to accept this file. So, here comma int suppose I am taking int a. So, here also two argument one is array one is simple int right and semicolon here. Now, how to do sum a for loop for i is equal to 0 i less than i less than size of the array size of the array is in a we have size of the array. So, i less than a right and i plus plus and here what you will do sum is equal to sum plus name of the array is marks only here marks i i hope you know the formula how to calculate sum of the array that is it and after sum just calculate what average average same variable name i am taking here also same also fine here all you or you can take different name right so average is equal to what sum divided by total number of student total number of student or you can say the size of arrays in a we have so divide by 5 and now return this thing right so now what you will write after this average i am writing here return average and that is it. So, now here we are using i sum and average. So, in this function you have to declare first of all these variables otherwise it will give error. So, you can declare int i, you can declare sum is equal to 0 and you can also declare what you are taking average, average also you can take 0, 3 variables right, 3 variables because we are using n. I am returning average, so it will return here and you can print average here. So, this is how you will pass array as an argument C. Now, how this array would be passed? First of all, when you will call this this thing, then control will go here to the main function, right? So now, in stack, in stack, memory would be allocated, right? Suppose this is stack. I am taking this a stack, right? See, whenever you run this, this program will go into main memory, like some coding for that thing memory would be allocated then for static or global variables then a stack memory then a heap memory right. So, now in stack what for main memory would be allocated right it is like one frame or it is like one activation record for this function would be held right. So, now this is for main main function and here we have in main we have what one variable average right we have array what marks 5. So, here we have some memory how much memory for this array would be allocated 5 size is 5 integer is taking 4 bytes so means 20 bytes. So, I am I am I am just drawing this here 10, 15, 20, 30 and 45 right and here we have what here I am right uh, taking this name of the array is marks name of the array will act as a internal pointer it is a constant internal internal pointer and what it will have the base address of this array suppose base address is 100 next element would be at 104, 108, 112 and 116 integer is of 4 byte I am, I am supposing integer is of 4 byte 132 bit and 64 bit machine right. So, now this base address is 100 so 100 would be here. So, it is acting as an internal pointer to this first element this is what a base address of this array right. So, marks will contain 100 this is the array this is how memory would be allocated. Now, next line is this thing this is what calling of the function avg we are passing marks now see whenever you will write down the name of the array what you will think this function call so the control will go here so now this function also memory would be allocated to this function average right and here we have obviously this now you will think this is what another array which is here means these values would be copied 10 15 20 uh, no 20 30 and 45 in this marks right or you can take different name also right. So, this complete value would be copied here and we have one more variable a in a what would be copied this 5. 
but this is not the mechanism behind this when you will pass array what it is going to pass the base address of the array so it will pass marks means name of the array in marks we have the base address of the array so it will pass only 100 the base address right so here it, it will act as this this will act as a pointer considered as a pointer what how the compiler will interpret this line something like this int asterisk marks means it's a pointer name of the pointer is marks and integer type pointer means it is pointing to a integer value i hope you got this not the complete values would be copied so here what would be copied we have one pointer marks and here we have 100 so this marks also pointing to here so this is example of we are passing address so this is example of call by reference not call by value so by default array would be passed so this is very important point by call by value method not call by sorry call by reference method not call by value and obviously it's right because suppose array is having marks of 100 students or a list of values are 200 so when you will pass 200 values now now a separate copy would be created here and 200 value would be stored if you pass it call by value that is of no use wastage of memory here also 200 values here also 200 call uh, values and again if you call this function again it will be in memory and again 200 values copies would be stored so that is wastage of memory so that is why array would always be passed by call by reference not call by value this is very important point right so it will act as this thing it is not a complete array here it's not a duplicate array right but this is what this 5 we are passing this is what called by value this is what called by reference because this is array right so now here see i is equal to 0 here we have one more variable i that is 0 we have sum also we have average also so here we have sum and average here we have 0 0 in this one so now i hope you know now, now the a value is 5 i value is 0 i plus plus and sum would be there it will do First of all, 0 plus marks of, marks of i is 0, means marks of 0 means what? It will access this value, because obviously this is a pointer to, to this, right? So 0 plus 10 is what? In sum we have first of all 10, then marks 1 means, marks 1 means index is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, means this value would be accessed, then 10 plus 15, so this is how total would be done. I hope you know the working of this for loop. No need to, uh, no define. No need to, you know, dry run this this for loop. So I'm just writing down the sum of the array. What would be the sum of this array here? I think it it would be 120, right? And after this for loop, average is equal to sum by a. Sum is equal to 120 divided by a is 5. So 120 divided by 5 is what? I think it's 24. So now it will return average. Average is 24. So now control will be here. Whatever it will return, that will store in average. That is 24, and we are going to print here. 24 so i hope you got the working how you pass array as an argument and if you want to confirm that here it's not a complete array just a pointer so you can what you can do you can print here size here if you will print size of array using size of operator what you can print a size of array name is just pass array name marks in printf if you will write then it will print here in main it will print 20 bytes because 5 is size 5 into 4 20 but here if you will write size of marks here in this function it will print 4 byte because it is a pointer it's not a complete array this this thing i'll show you practically so now let me show you practical of this let me just run this code and see what output you are getting so now let me create a file for this and what array as argument right So here what first of all we are declaring name I am taking avg right and here int name is sorry it is just a declaration so no need to specify the name of the array that is it right and in main what we will do we will simply take array marks and here I am taking uh, sizes 5 
and just I am assigning here values 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 right simple values I am taking right and here I, I will pass the size also. So, here we will calculate the size, we will not pass 5 only, we will calculate the size and then we will pass. So, how to calculate size of this array means how many elements in array, how to calculate that thing means if you calculate the size of array in bytes like the size is 20 bytes divide by size of a single value like a of 0 that is 20 divided by 4 that is 5. So, there are 5 elements right I hope you are getting this method. So, here simply you can take what I am also taking one uh, variable that is size right and here I am writing size is equal to size of this is the method just pass the name of the array and divide by size of size of his operator size of single value marks and uh, 0 right semicolon. So, it will give 20 divided by 4 byte that is 5 and obviously in size we have 5. So, there are 5 elements. So, you can pass this. So, now average is equal to I am calling this function average how to call simply pass name of the array and second is size also I want to pass that is the variable name size right. So, now average obviously average also you have to declare. before using it right and size we have declared right. Now and see yeah in calling we are passing two arguments. So, here also obviously in declaration also what you have to do one more way uh, data type that is int right otherwise it will give error. So, now after returning just print printf average is equal to percentage d and slash n and uh, simply print the name the variable name where you are storing this average right. Now, what will be the definition int name of the function is avg and here I am taking name of the array is not marks you can take different name also you can take same name also. So, suppose I am taking here name of the array is marks 1 right and here one more int size you can take same name also size in main size in here also uh, no need to worry. So, that that is it and here what now what you will do we will take int i then sum and then average right and here you will do sum just write down this i less than less than how many elements in array obviously less than size we are going to run and then i plus plus. And here what you will do sum is equal to sum plus or you can say sum plus equal to array name is I am taking here marks 1, marks 1 and here i right. And after this average is equal to sum divide by size of array that how you will calculate average and then return average. So, here in uh, for loop we have semicolon right. So, now let us see and uh, no, let us run this and see what output you will get. Okay, now see it, it was uh, giving a garbage value in the previous case why sometimes it will take garbage value. So, better to initialize the sum is equal to 0 average is equal to 0 when you declare these otherwise it will it will take any garbage value and output also will give some garbage value. So, better to initialize with a 0. So, now this time it is giving average is 30. So, now see here here if you print here in main function here I am printing the size after average I am printing what printf inside main size of array is and I am um, I want to calculate size in bytes how many bytes right. So, percentage d and comma I just write down size of operator size of and pass the name of the array marks right. Same line what same size I want to 
print here in average also. So, before returning I am printing inside now it is inside avg function right. Inside avg function size of array is in bytes um, size of I am taking name of the array here marks 1. So, size of marks 1 this need to take care right. Now, let me run this and see what output you are getting. Just for formatting purpose I am uh, no, writing here slash and I am putting a slash in here. See average is 30 before this it is printing inside average function size of array is 4 only. Size of array is not 20 it is 4 only why because it is it is not an array copy of the array it is just a pointer marks 1 is just a pointer and pointer is what either 4 bytes or it depends on the machine right. So, 4 bytes or 2 bytes in 32 bit machine it's, it will take 4 bytes, but inside main function size of array is 20 bytes. So, now I hope you are getting we are not copying the complete array if you copy the complete array in both the function size of array would be 20 and 20 because in main also 5 elements we have in average function also 5 elements we have if you have a copy, but here we in average we do not have copy it is called by reference. So, only point that will be considered as pointer and pointer we has having size 4 bytes right. Now, it is just giving a warning like size of an average integer parameter marks 1 will return size of int star because it is acting in the compiler interpret it as, as a pointer int star as a pointer right. So, here if you will think like the uh, no, no, like that size rather than calculating size in the main function we simply calculate size in the average function and then we just uh, do i less than is equal to size no if you will calculate size here if you will write down the same line here in this average means it will take marks 1 size of marks 1 would be 4 and size of marks you know this this sim single element also 4 4 by 4 is 1. So, size would be 1 only. So, this for loop would run only one time that is why we calculate size how many elements in array in main function and we pass that value right. So, that is it for this video now. So, I hope you got the concept if you have any doubt regarding this you can ask me in comment box right. Next video we will see how to pass a string as an argument in array. So, now in the next video till then bye bye take care.